Ross set one record and tied another last night, and neither was good things from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. Show averaged, averaged one point. And yeah, by the way, somebody in the chat said this daylight savings time had just thrown me for a loop, and oh my God, is it ever. This sucks. How? This daylight you savings got an time. hour. What's wrong no, with No, I you? didn't what? get an hour, Mike. Why not? Well, it doesn't work that way when you have kids. I have a kid. Don't tell me this nonsense. Not a, you got not two a kids that should have been asleep by 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday God morning. help me. Jiminy Christmas. These these kids God. go to bed at the normal time. They wake up an hour early. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what day it is. It's horrible. But anyway, if I that screw the show up, you can you can blame daylight savings time. Just like WWE is blaming daylight savings time. Because everyone <laughs> makes fun of this, but it happens every single time the clocks change. Daylight savings time has occurred, and so now the third hour of Raw is dead. And then come the spring, when the clocks shift again, we're going to end up with the first hour being dead and the other two hours doing fine. Happens every single time, even though people like to deny it. Show average 1.55 million viewers, drew an 0.40 rating in 18 to 49, 0.22 in 18 to 34. These demos are horrid for a Monday Night Raw. First two hours in the normal range. But then hour three, you guys remember on, on Monday when I was like, what's on Raw tonight? And like there was no preview with the exception of one match, which was Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. That was the main event of the show. They literally opened Raw with an angle with Kevin Owens, and they did it throughout the entire show leading to the match. That third hour with Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens, 1.37 million viewers and a point three four in eighteen to forty nine. That would tie hour three on July five for the lowest total audience of an hour in raw history. The O point three four eighteen to forty nine for the third hour sets the record. Not only does it set the record for the lowest rated hour in the history of raw. And by the way, I'm watching raw from nineteen ninety three. We're on raw number two. With Rob Bartlett or whatever the bloke's name is doing commentary, since <laughs> since that show, like Repo Man is feuding with the Macho Man Randy Savage who is doing commentary. This is how far back we're going. Shawn Michaels is getting ready to do a loser leaves town match with Ric Flair. You got to go back that far. This is the lowest, the lowest eighteen to forty nine in the history of this show. The old record was .37. This was a .34. Jiminy Christmas, as they say, on Disney shows. 17% first to third hour drop. The largest in months. Why? Daylight savings time. All these old people like me, they just go to bed early. Or they try. Did I went to bed the other day at 3.05 a.m. after doing the Dave show? You know what time that was three days earlier? 4.05 a.m. <laughs> then my kids decide, oh, it doesn't matter what the clocks say. I'm going to wake up at my normal time. 1.65 million viewers first hour. 1.62 million second hour. 1.37 million in the third hour. God help me. What a horrible number. Hard out there over on the West Coast, isn't it? It's hard <laughs> everywhere, Mike. Hey, look. We're all suffering in one way or the other. That's true, but f fans are creatures of habit, and in the wrestling business, it has been noted, one-time change can throw you off. It's just, you Oh, know. yeah, by the way, it's it's Ric Flair and Mr. Perfect, not Shawn Michaels. I was going to say. I'm yeah, dying over that. here. <laughs> but, God. But, you know, they, they seem to find football. They seem to find a lot of other shows. So sometimes, you know, yeah, is it true that there's a little bit of a decline? Absolutely. Is it also true that maybe you didn't give these people what they wanted to see? It's also very possible. <laughs> you know, is your product not hot right now and you didn't give them anything to be fired up about? Yeah, that's probably the case. So I, you can blame daylight savings time but the reality of the situation is we have seen these slips over and over again and you can blame COVID, blame this blame that whatever you want to but 
you know, this is the third lowest number that they've had. All three of these numbers have come within the last two years. And, and granted, again, COVID, there have been other issues, but the product is not hot. They have nobody's, you know, their fans aren't motivated unless they are the ones online that are wanting to argue with AEW fans. I mean, what else do you have? Right now they have Roman Reigns. That thing has been fantastic with Brock Lesnar. But even the most diehard fans know that they are not going to be fed this every single week. They're not going to see Brock Lesnar every single week. You know, these guys aren't going to touch until, you know, what, Royal Rumble, Survivor, who knows when they are. So, And, and fans know that, too. So you got to give them something else to, to, to build around and to make them feel something about. And I don't think people wanting to see Kevin Owens go dirty – in a time where we're talking about reality and what we know of reality and even the most obstreperous personalities, even the most, you know, tough to deal with people, the CM Punks and the Eddie Kingston's of the world, we're, we're celebrating their promos, we're celebrating what they are, even though they've had a lot of ups and downs with them, their personal lives, with other wrestlers, things like that. And you got Kevin Owens there who... Everybody knows is the best family guy in the entire world. I shouldn't say the best, but we get to see him put himself on display with his family. We know what he is. Yes, we know what the wrestling character is, but we also see this guy that nobody wants to boo. Who wants to boo Kevin Owens? And now, and you saw it last week, they were putting you in a position to boo Kevin Owens, who, again, everything about that turn, everything about the match Two weeks ago, everything about the match on Monday night and the whole lead up to what happened with turning Kevin Owens on Big E was awful. It was, again, there's been far worse things in wrestling, but it was ill-advised and it was poorly done. And I think that may have a little bit of something to do with it, too, because, again, what are you giving these people to, to sink their teeth into? There's not much. Dagan says, could this uh, this decline in viewership have to do with the show being bad? Actually, no, because uh, the third hour of the show was not bad. It was daylight savings time. People just went to bed early. Well, and then, and then in wait. the spring, nah, dude, I've seen it's some the hor- lowest third hour, one of their lowest third hours of all time. It's they did one point three seven time. million people. I understand that, Brian. They went point, to sleep. That's fine. Point to other examples and data then that states the decline in the number has been this bad. Well, are you and talking I know the you... overall? Listen, overall, the show sucks. That's why it's slowly declining over the years. But, uh, but the whole but thing is, it doesn't was, matter if it's daylight savings time, Brian. You had yes, it does point, matter. Yes, you had 1.6 million people right about to begin that show. What was the first hour? By the end of the show, sleepy time or not, they didn't give people a reason to stick around. So you can blame daylight savings time all you want. It's a part of it, but it is not... I don't think it is the root issue of where they're well, at right now. Mike, the obviously the have. root issue is the show sucks, okay? Exactly. But Dagan, Dagan is you asking. Say that. Dagan is asking, is a record low third hour because the show sucked? No, that show was fine. It's and the main event was two stars that they advertised the match and they had a good match and they spent 35 minutes on it. That wasn't the reason the show died. I've seen shows 50 times worse in this show that somehow have a gain in a horrible hour or a decline in a horrible hour. The the overarching issues with the show is why we're in football season and we're going to probably have another record low at some point down the road. And we'll probably have another record low before January comes. But whatever the show is it does the next record low, it's not going to be the fault of whoever had a match during that hour. It's but it's just, also not going to be the fault of daylight savings time. It, well, you know what? When daylight savings comes, <laughs> Mike, when day, when the clocks Brian, shift yes. again, okay, on the next dad. Sunday that they shift again in March, I'll dad explain it. The the raw after that switch is going to have a strong third hour, and it don't matter who's in that third hour. You will not be able to say, "Oh, I can't believe they put Dew Drop and Alexa Bliss in the third hour. It did so well." Well, it had nothing to do with them. It had to do with the time change, like it does every year, twice a year. Every time. It's always that. Now, why is the show in general doing horrible numbers? Because it sucks. But it is not Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins' fault that they set a record low in that third hour. It's not their fault. Nobody's blaming them. You just did. You oh, said it's because the it. show sucked. Old man. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Yes, we should abolish daylight savings. CM Punk. Versus Garcia, fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets leg. <laughs> 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 this was 10 8 21. Clothesline. 
Pil- Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? Get- if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.